transportation it's very simple you don't need any others help in india if you want to travel so that we will can... become problem because that will become problem because they right so next one uh how about for the must try food i know there are a lot of delicious food from india chicken oh, biryani yeah. is the most famous here oh. in my place chicken biryani uh, do you like it's... which you know when i i tried that chicken biryani when i was in china because they have a famous indian restaurant there yeah the chicken biryani is really delicious what experience like did you like it yes i also like the there is another one like how what do you call that one naan or i i'm not sure if i pronounce yes, it well yes. okay but yeah please <laughs> recommend i mean must try food in india five foods five foods chicken biryani is the most famous in india and if they wants to taste um, <clears throat> sorry vegetarian items so i would suggest masala dosa that is in a circular shape okay. adding some masala and curry so masala dosa is also famous in my state and chapati i think i know this it is like Uh, same before you said butter oh yeah no what's the difference the difference is a little bit taste oh yeah the taste what yeah. about this in chapati they add some oil mm okay what about this you know, para- they, paratha yeah paratha is also the same like chapati if you eat this three item non chapati mm-hmm. and paratha you won't feel big difference yeah. you'll enjoy these three items by taking chicken curry this oh, the taste will be chicken super. curry and mm-hmm. fourth one puri it, it, the preparation is some difference like they add little bit oil in chapati and they'll mm-hmm. heat but in in preparing puri they will dip that puri in a oil mm mm-hmm. ah they dip in an oil yeah boiling oil idli sambar that's a fifth one yeah idli sambar idli it is in a white color circular shape a small circular shape rice cake that this is, is the rice cake yeah it looks like rice cake okay uh-huh. but we call it as idli okay so there is something inside there is nothing inside <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay if you eat only idli the taste will be uh, you know there is no stay, uh, taste you, you won't feel any taste so we have to eat idli with some curry chutney by adding chutney is it this green one the green like sauce or a dip chutney. yes it is a sauce type of cho- sauce that is uh, uh, prepared by ground nuts peanuts <laughs> if you you can find dosa even in your country also indian restaurant you can easily find dosa chapati biryani and idli also mm, because okay. these are the most famous uh, items food items in india Yeah, but for sure the taste is really different when in India and the Indian restaurants from other countries. Yes, yes. I know the taste is really good from your country, of course, and the authentic. Like if I eat biryani here, I'll feel hundred percent satisfied. Mm-hmm. I'll I'll satisfy hundred percent. But if I eat the biryani same in other country, no, nah, you will not 50%. like it for sure. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, you will say, "What? This is not biryani." This is not chicken biryani. <laughs> yes. It okay. looks like a biryani but the taste is not like biryani. Yeah. Especially if you have already tried the best. So you can really tell. Transportation it's very simple. You don't need any others help in India if you want to travel. It's mm-hmm. a completely safe to travel in India but there is some places that you need other person. Mhm. So in India so how inter- internet yeah if you go anywhere so you need high to... internet ah okay like if... we can just have i mean we can connect yes. to internet anywhere internet yeah internet is available every place you mm-hmm. won't get any disturbance with the internet if you travel any place so if you want to travel you can book a cab ola uber and oh, okay we need those yes. applications 
and applications ola uber like you don't need to go to ask to the cab driver to go this way what is the price you can compare the prices in online and oh that's cool <laughs> yeah okay. so if you know the technical knowledge if you know how to use mobile and internet you can travel india everywhere Same. so you better to compare the prices you install both applications okay <laughs> ola and uber and ola and search uber. your destination place where okay. you want to go so like if you want to visit taj mahal and check the price in ola yeah. and also uber and compare the prices which one is cheaper then you can okay. choose <laughs> that's the tip. cheaper one that you can that's save your money <laughs> tip for the travelers how about for those really like who wants to save money and wants to like you know go for bus go for cheaper one yeah if they want to uh, travel in a cheaper way like in a budget so mm -hmm. there is also trains very cheap and bus a little bit expensive oh and buses are yeah train is a be, be, best way to save money but it will take time to travel it's a time taking right like 20, 20 hours journey 24 hours journey like oh. if you want to save time you should mm -hmm. have to invest money yes <laughs> how about well when say for example we don't have this just an example situation we don't have the application yet so we just call a cab or a taxi um so that will can... become problem because that will become problem because they you know they they they'll ask like um ex they'll ask more money when compared oh, to yeah. present yeah because you are a foreigner you don't know nothing about india and they'll easily you know find out yeah this person don't know nothing so i can ask uh, extra 2000 3000 higher price so so you okay, better to go by internet and, <laughs> and also okay. you can ask to the other people like travelers the co travelers like if you are coming to the flight you you'll meet uh, n number of uh, indians over there so you can ask them they'll guide you like go this way yes. and uh, i'll tell you the price difference from uh, especially filipino people like the price difference is 1.5 rupees is equals to 1 peso so the what? expenses in india one so peso. there is no big difference only oh. 0.5 difference between 0.5 the <laughs> currency and peso so wow. you won't feel that this is india is so expensive country india mm. is you know your expenses will be same like in your country rupees are in indian okay talking about seasons or like if there are special events how about in india what is like there you have a special event that you celebrate okay. that we can join you know something like we will also enjoy if we go there so in india they you know we have lots of festivals okay? festivals yeah yeah so diwali diwali festival is oh, coming next month fourth diwali so festival. burning crackers <laughs> people they celebrate this festival by burning crackers especially mm -hmm. at the night so that's only one day celebration that's one day celebration being a tourist i guess it's nice to know some of the words you know like how to can you teach us how to say thank you in hindi i don't know but in my native language akrutagnatalu oh akrutagnatalu Ah, okay. One more time. <laughs> Krutagnatalu. Krutagnatalu. Yes. Krutagnatalu. That's thank you. How do you greet each other when you, you know, meet a person, like saying hi, hello? Yeah, we use hi, hello, maximum. Oh. But we we use native language by mixing English words. Okay. Yeah, I can relate Because, to that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because now schools and colleges, everything is in English medium, so just say it, hi. This mixed up, yeah. How about saying yes? Like in Aun. your, that's yes. Oh no. Yeah. Aun. And yes. no. Hado. Hado. Oh no. Hado. 
Oh, no. That's my native language, okay? Not yeah, in Hindi. Yeah, that's your native language. I'm sure you will never face any language problem here. But I'll okay. tell to the Filipino people, if they plan for uh, India, they'll really enjoy. And it's a budget trip. Like the, ex- the expenses in India same like Philippines. Yeah. Like you I can book it's... hotel here, 500 rupees. And in, in, in Philippines also, 500 pesos. 500. The prices is same. All right, so Tina, thank you so much. I think I already asked you all the questions that I prepared here. And thank you all so much for answering everything, for giving us information about your country. Um, I have met actually um, Indians like when while I was in China, working in China. So I have met, I have some Indian friends. So you're really, got, you're, you guys are really friendly, I can say. So thank you. And of course, your food is really good. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And you people, Filipino people also very friendly. And I well, met many uh, yeah. Filipino people uh, in online, but not offline. Because oh, you, you yeah. haven't met Filipinos there in your state? No. no. Oh, I guess here I've met here in Philippines, there are Indians. In Philippines, there. there are many Indians, I know. Yeah. They're doing business and some uh, they are doing jobs and there are some um, studying. Yes, that's right. Like, how do you call them? Like exchange students. Yes. OK, but thank you. That was really a fun conversation. And yeah, thank you also. So you can guys yeah. go to check out his YouTube channel. All right. Bye. bye.